the tomb of the crocodile dates back to the late Ptolemaic period and beginning of Roman period. For some of the details of its scenes, especially the offering tables, can be compared to its like, which are pictured in C. Amon tomb, that's located in the same cemetery. Since the name of the tomb's owner was lost, the people of Siwa called it the Crocodile Tomb. That's when it was totally cleared from rubble and the scenes inside it appeared. It's possible that during that period, the cult of Gatsobik prevailed in Siwa, taking into consideration that throughout its historical ages, Siwa held constant and stable relations with Fayum where the crocodile god had a great stature. The crocodile painting stirred a big debate among the Syrians who hurried to see it after the tomb was cleaned. They were keen on listening to stories told about it by their people who claimed to know everything about crocodiles by visiting the zoo in Cairo. They've all agreed that a crocodile can swallow a man or a woman, and even a loaded camel. As for its length, they estimated it to be between 10 and 100 meters. That's quite normal for people who had discovered a picture of a monster drawn right in the middle of their homes, which are originally the tombs of the Mountain of the Dead Cemetery. Till today, the crocodile tomb along with the other three colored tombs in Jabal el Mauta, attract the attention of both the locals and tourists, for they attest to the greatness of Siwa's dwellers of the past. <laughs>